Hello, every nyan. I am tessellating hexagons, uwu. And you might wonder why the fresh chicken I intro the video by saying that. Well, I'm here in the lovely town of Sirchester, and, uh, during the live streams, I portrayed the gym leader as being furry trash, but this is another gym that's different in shield compared to sword. But first, I believe... Ah, uh, sure enough, voice acting ahoy. I haven't voiced hop in a hot while. Oh, I lost! It all went to pot! Did it now. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did just what I've seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it, it's the Ice Leader's League card. You should check out the gym leader you'll have to face too. Her name is Melanie. It's just Melon in Japanese for some reason. And me? I've got to figure out what I put on my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting! Oh, okay. Because we're tighter than bark on a tree. Wake me up! So, yes, right, so, Melanie. Ice type. Her son is Gordy the rock type user, and she canonically, like, either disowned him or estranged him or something, because he likes rock types, and she's like, No, you must use the ice type! And uh, that caused a family falling out that split an entire universe in twain. And now we have, admittedly, from what I understand, this gym does actually make sense as both a rock and an ice place, and you look like Apollo Justice. So, ice type gym. Uh, who should I lead with? That seems like a catastrophically bad idea. Grass and water against ice types. I mean, really. I feel like this is Damiano's turn to shine. I would have used more of my XP candies, but I feel like I'm a little bit overleveled. Well, whatever. Let's see what commences. So, the gym mission here. If you watched my sword streams, then it's exactly the same as that. Like, just like with the ghost gym, it's literally one for one, the same as its Swordian counterpart, just with a different coat of paint. Or, in this case, a desaturation. Also, the trainers are different, but everything right down to the puzzle is exactly the same. So we get a trap detector, which is totally not a riff on the item finder from way back yonderfoot in yonder pastman sheer. Apparently, if you play this on a Switch light or with Rumble otherwise deactivated, then you get like a, a little visual thing that's allegedly really difficult to see. But I'm playing on a Switch, so I don't have to worry, I will have hand vibrations. Now, what I'm hoping to do here is to play cautiously, but like... Oh, voices. Oh, voices. A million voices voices. I'm going to want to not fall into any holes if I can avoid it. Fairly sure the first bit's just a straight shot like that. Yeah, okay. So, I, I do know that both Gordy and Melanie have slightly different dialogue based on whether or not you fall into any of the traps. <coughs> Pardon me choking on the snowstorm in the gym, and not just me swallowing my own tongue as I am wont to do. Allegedly, they have different dialogue if you get through the gym without falling into any holes, compared to if you fall into... Actually, come to think, I don't know if Gordy does. I know Melanie definitely does, which is partly why I am putting so much Flender Tremst into not falling into holes. Also, yeah, I think I'm a bit overleveled. <laughs> Golly Christmas on toast. By the way, so as people said in the comments last time, and... As I found out for myself, yeah, sure enough, Sarah evolves using a water stone, and I found a water stone by un vi unconventional methods. So I now have a Ludicolo, and let's see. Is I know there's there's danger afoot, but I don't know which foot. Okay, we <laughs> we Spaguchi McVaguglio. We are every flavor. We are every flavor, fam. You know, because completing one section of the gym clearly qualifies you to get through the whole thing. It, it's, it reminds me of, uh, of Sutopolis from Gen 3. Now then, the big Jimmy. And we're in a gym as well. Right, so, okay, there's definitely danger that way. Can I go straight ahead and then I want to say, uh, uh, left, and 
Heckmund Wyke. Okay, I've had the, that, that town name stuck in my head all day. And, okay, there's danger directly ahead there. So Heckmund Wyke, right. Is it even pronounced like Heckmund Wyke? Because I know how British town names tend to be. It, how do we know that it's not like Hemendick or something? You know, like Christopher Hemingway's penis. Who? I'm having a moment here. Who's... I think I mixed up Chris Hemsworth and Ernest Hemingway as, you know, you know the, the, the natural mistake to maker. Do I still have battle animations turned off? I think I might still have battle animations turned off because I was doing stuff in the wild area prior to this. And as it turns out, battle animations, they, they do cut the, um, the animations of Pokemon moves, but they don't make, like, the attacks get cut out, but the, what am I trying to say? Like, the, the whole animation of Dynamaxing a Pokemon is not cut out, so it, it saved a small quantitoid of time, but not enough for it to really just defluder itself. Do I even speak English? Hey, Macarena! I, I keep seeing the, the, the ice motif on the floor, and... Surely I'm not the only one being like, Oh my god, it's Triforce confirmed! Clearly this is Breath of the Wild 2. Which is a game that doesn't need to exist because I don't like Breath of the Wild! What do you mean? We're already clean! Scrub, scrub, scrub till the water's brown! Okay, now that we're here, battle effects back on. Thank you. Okay, I die now. Thank you, please. Right then, is it up or right? Because, like, there's another safe zone that's there, and I... I'm not seeing any troubles afoot in the hasty. Can I? Could I? Be end to the right. I nearly jumped out of my human flesh there. The, the human flesh that I definitely grew myself on my own body. Because we had the whole. You, you know how? I want to say they introduced it in Generation Seven. I don't remember it from Generation Six. Where, you know, the screen goes all, like, swoopy when you're in a trainer's line of sight. That made me jump because I thought I'd fallen into a hole and permanently screwed over my entire game forever. Anyway, sir, allow me to kick you with my feet. I was talking to a very close friend of mine earlier, and she was like, How do they even get away with so blatantly showing Cinderace's porbs? I don't know. Maybe this game was made by the same batch of hornies who made Bowser's Inside Story, because that game is full of things. Yes, you're going to be punished by the magic boob lady of northern Alaska. I watched the Simpsons movie once. Right. I'm going to need to not go straight up, because it's always a trap. If I save, and then, like, if bad things happen, like, if I fall into a hole, will I be able to save Scum and have it be like it doesn't count? Because I really, you know, whoa, -oh, lesbians in deck chairs, we're, we're, we're several of the journey there. I, I want to show the dialogue for not falling into any holes. Can I please? I did please. I have pleasled myself. Steady on. So here's a fun fact about me. I, I don't actually know how much I've expatriated a world of silver snow as opposed to the sandstorm from the, the rock version of this gym. Right. I... E. And then a subsequent E. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yes. So, I live in a house now. Well, I lived in a house before, but I, I moved house earlier this year, and for some reason, at this time of year, or so I have discovered, my bedroom gets obscenely warm in the evenings for no discernible reason. And so, here I am, being warm. I don't know why. I am concentrating, you snow plow. You house. <laughs> She's a house. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Like She's a, she's a, a brick. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, I had a thought. I would say in the previous episode, it wasn't really a... Like, it's, this isn't really a series so much as it is just a supplemental extra background thingy. I was talking about how I imagine my Pokemon to be 
in, in my shield team. And I never actually got to the point of what I was saying about most of them. So, <laughs> Damiano, I, I'd like to think, is like really affectionately flirtatious with everyone unless they set a boundary, in which, in which case he's like, oh, you said no, okay, I will respect that. But otherwise he's like, oh, oh, what's this? Um, Sylvia, as I, I was going to say last time, and then I just got interrupted by myself mid-sentence. I imagine her speaking... Uh, Sil by the way, Sylvia is my Orbeetle, not to be confused with Boris the Sylveon, in case anyone was missing that. And also, I don't want to use Pyro Ball because it would make... it, it would feel cheap! Okay, so, Sylvia the Orbeetle. I imagine her talking, like, kind of like with a moon accent, because she lives on the moon, or, or like, like the, uh, the, the Magnemite family in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, or, or, or Monodam in Daggerobba V3, just block capitals, there are no spaces, there are only hyphens in between words, and based on the, the flavour text that's come up in, like, the Pokemon camping and stuff, Sylvia would absolutely die for me, and, like, oh, okay. Please don't, but thank you. <laughs> right, do I... which... which go do I have? Can I safely... Uh... Uh... Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, ah? Uh. I'm making some fantastic noises here. I've generally found that, generally, if, if you hug the, the walls, you'll be okay? Well, not like the walls, but the... the obstacles. Hugstacles. Ham... sandwich. I am getting oddly nervous because I don't want to permanently deflumbricate my save file with the... tragedy of missing a single beatus. Yeah, that... Okay. Okay, this part I remember, it's just don't go straight ahead. I did it! That was... that was absurdly stressful. And, like, I wouldn't have put myself through that. But I'm a... I'm... crunch-chewitably aware that there is dialogue for doing it correctly. I don't know how much, mind you, I just know that it is there. So, with that having been the case, ghost voices... I'm, I'm being haunted by positive affirmations. Melanie is absolutely the sort of woman, and I haven't even met her yet, who would have a live, laugh, love sign in her kitchen. I can neither confirm nor confirm. Now, going forwards, I'm going to be counter-counterintuitive and lead with Damiano, because... I don't remember which- well, I don't actually know for certain which one her Gigantamax Pokémon is. I, I I have narrowed down to two. It's either Darmanitan or a Lapras, and I cannot recall which, because I think I did know briefly. And, uh, either way, I'm not going to be leading with Damiano when we get to that. But... Oh, I am Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all Ice-type Pokémon. Well, fancy that. You made it all the way to me without falling in a hole. If I'm not careful, you could sweep my feet right out from under me. Ah! Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I... <sighs> freeze you solid. And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is... Quite severe. I've not done that voice in a while, and I feel like you can tell, and damn, who Zamboni's your floor? Girl, that is shiny. Oh, she has, like, lines near her eyes. Are you a sleepy woman? Because I can relate, except I'm not a woman. But I can relate to the sleepiness. Also, Frosmoth, we stand. Because Snom is just automatically a good child, no matter what, and therefore its evolution is also accessible, and by that I mean acceptable. Also, why... In the background there, why are you advertising ice lollies in an ice-type gym? Like, ah yes, it's snowing. Better have something cold. Then again, I'm not really in a position to criticize because I live in Britain. Ah, warm weather, have a hot cup of tea to cool you down. Actual British logic. I mean, it works, but shush. Really tempted to send Honduras out just to get some extra... ESP. 
Yes, definitely ESP. I certainly didn't mean anything else there. Now, the fact that you're sending out Darmanitan now makes me think that this isn't your Gigantamax after all. I know someone has a Gigantamax Darmanitan, I just don't know where or when, or how I know this in the first place. Well, whatever. Honestly, I have always been something of a fan of the Darmanitan family, like ever since uh, Gen 5 when they were first introduced. Just because... I, I thought they were cool. I, I liked the whole, ah, oh, they have a form that makes them change type. And um, they carried that over into its Galarian form, because the original was pure fire, except in Zen mode, which is it's either 50%, 30%, 20 25 When it gets to low health, it like all of its stats just completely rewrite themselves, and it becomes half psychic. Similar story here, except they start as pure ice, and then their Zen mode form is Ice Fire, which I want to say is the only Pokemon to be Ice Fire! Maybe? You can't Icicle Crash me, I don't exist! Now, was this... Eh... I was... Honestly, I was hoping for better. Still, at this point in time... It's still pure ice. I was literally explaining why this strategy wouldn't work as I was doing it. Wow. Yeah, the, the whole reason why I sent Boris out in the first place. Oh! Good baby! Precious child. Oh, precious child. I brought out Boris because he knows Dig. And Dig is good against fire. Which this Pokemon isn't. Why am I dumb? Uh, 100, 120. Uh, yeah, it, it'll do. If if your finna keep spamming the crashing icicles. Also, head cannon about Boris. Very similar energy to him as Cotton Candy Randy from Good Mythical Morning. Like he will just straight up like nuzzle and boop you and be all adorable and affectionate and then look you in the eyes and go one day the flesh will peel from your bones and I will be there to watch you decay and you're like oh so that's nice he's not mean he's just on an entirely different layer don't die Bye! okay fine I will be a bit less tankular Yes. I, I I will dumb fewerly and just... To hell with it, Damiano, just finish what you started. I was trying to be clever, but I was so clever that I was stupid. It, it wrapped back around. The line was crossed more than one time. I was so clever that I was stupid again. Just... Just burn it. Burn it while you still can. Like, yes, I may have killed you in a single attack. I mean, granted, Boris laid the groundwork, but still. But... You're going to remember Boris, because he's the one who looked you in the eye and told you the exact date and time of your death. Because he's just like that. Those wacky fairy types. Ice Q! Ice Q. I don't know how Ice Q works, because it kind of looks tweaky with a W. So, I know that it's roughly similar to Mimic Q, in that it has an ability that deflects damage. Apparently completely? It looks so silly without its face! And it didn't transform, I just broke its skull. There is a minute difference. See, I'm not sure if its stats change, and I, I want to say that Ice Face, for one, it's restored in Hail, so we'll probably see that in a hot second. For another, I want to say it only restores... it only blocks physical attacks, so special attacks will still damage it, I think? And apparently this is... it. Like, this is its ice face form, and when it doesn't have the ice face on, that's not the no ice face, apparently that's the noise face, because they couldn't resist making a pun that's half a portmanteau of no and ice, and half just Michael Rosen. Note to self, if and when I catch an ice cue, name it Michael Rosen, or at the very least just Michael. Hi. I don't actually know where ice cue happens, because I, I want to say they're a shield exclusive, and whereas you can only get them in shield, you can only get Stonjourna in sword, and frankly I would rather have Stonjourna because it's cool, but Ice Q is cool too! Me like a penguin. Anyway, um, Lapras. It's Rebecca's time to shine. You might notice, 
Uh, I got the Hex TM when last I recorded, and I thought, I'm not going to put that on anyone. And then I did end up putting it on Rebecca after all, because I realised it, it... Hang on a minute, you've got dialogue. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so... Because Rebecca is prone to inflicting paralysis, and Hex does extra damage to uh, opponents with status inflictions, it kind of made sense after all. So, sometimes Discharge will make them be paralyzed, and then Hex can attack the weak point for massive damage. Although the first time I tried that strategy, I realized just before... So, I, I didn't end up using the strategy in the end, because I realized when I was three quarters of the way there, I was fighting a Snorlax, Hex is a ghost type move, nothing would have happened. But at least I got the paralysis off. Come now. Go on and Gigantamax. I'll let you freeze everyone solid. Mm. Now watch me yeet it. Oh, she's stuck on the Pokeball. That's kind of cute. Now, I... Okay. I was going to say, I had vague recollections of it having, like, music around it. But those aren't musics. And also, the shell has stripey holes. How would you describe that? Crenellations? Rivets? Ribbits, in fact? Oh. I didn't know if this would be a one-hit kill or not, I'm sort of glad it isn't, just for the sake of, I don't know, variety, the hero's struggle, some other combination of syllables that have meaning. My partner's signature move invites you to a sub-zero world, Lapras G-Max Resonance. What does that mean? It just means cold. I swear, the Gigantamax moves just have such random names. And it, it, it invokes Aurora Veil. Well, that's remarkably unremarkable. Kill it! <laughs> so yeah, there's that. There's... There's Opal's G-Max finale, which is just... Hey, I'm a giant cake! I'm gonna drop some stars on you! Like, yep, that's definitely a finale. Well, what the house ever. That was easy. I only struggled because I forgot to take into account that Zen Mode doesn't activate until Pokemon's mostly dead. It's... Fine, I'll get a dumb Manitan of my own and complete the Pokedex that way. In the meantime, though, Melanie, you were easier than your son, and your son is a rock-type trainer. I just want to climb into... a hole. Well, I guess it'd be more like falling from here, right? This does a weird amount of triangulation to my throat, and I don't know why. I can feel that floor, though. Like, not in a temperature way, but, like, texture-wise. You, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokémon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with such ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. That's my one thing with this generation. I don't like that the gym badges are just straight up named after their respective types. I miss them having names like they did in other generations, but I guess they were starting to run out of names. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? I fucking hate him. It's, it's true. She just disowned him for liking rock types. Don't get me wrong, ice is cooler than rock in every sense of the phrase. But I mean, come on. Clearly, based on my portrayal within the, the games and the live streams, the real reason she disowned him is because he was peak furry trash and, um, faffy. Furries are friends, fuck you. <laughs> is basically a motto I came up with on the bus the other day. Any legs, I don't think there's much else going on, so we'll just sort of check in with the, uh, the, the check in with the checkout stuff, and then head on my merry little way, and I suppose I will catch y'all all again in the championship to show off that, uh, I believe Alistair for certain, and maybe Melanie? Definitely Alistair do reappear in this game's version of the Elite Four, so I'll show you what happens there. But in the meantime, I have been a good day to be translating hexagons, and I will see you in Winden, I guess? Toodle house!